It's time now for Eyewitness News. Call 12 for action. If you're unemployed, we have important information that may make filing a lot easier for you. Problem solver Susan Hogan sat down with the Department of Labor and Training to clear up some of the most common misconceptions. It's because of you, our viewers, that we're doing this story. We have received literally hundreds of emails and calls over the year about frustrations with filing for unemployment. Tonight, we took some of your questions to the state to get answers just for you. Emails flooding my inbox, desperate calls for help, like this one from Paula, whose husband was laid off. She said he was told he had to wait two weeks from his last day of work before he could file unemployment. Big misconception. You have seven days from the last day you work to file your claim. Claims become effective on a Sunday. If you wait, you could jeopardize your first benefit payments. Another misconception is if you're receiving severance pay, you're not entitled to unemployment insurance. In Rhode Island, you are entitled. We do not count, count severance pay against the individual's weekly benefits. But if you live in Rhode Island and worked for a Massachusetts company and got laid off, your severance pay does count against your unemployment benefits. Here's another misconception. No one is really checking whether you're searching for work each week you collect. We do random audits. Each week we have files that are pulled up and staff that contact individuals and they have to bring us proof, verify the places that they've looked for work and then we do random contacts to those places. And by going in person to an unemployment center to file your claim or check on the status, don't bother. That's a misconception. They're going to help you. You're not going to get service. You're not going to get service. It does not speed the process up. And there are many more unemployment misconceptions brought to our attention. We put an extended interview with the Department of Labor and Trading on our website for you. So log on to WPRI.com and click on 12 for Action. And as always, you can follow me on Twitter at Suzy Makes Sense for all the latest scams, alerts, and deals of the day. And if you have a consumer problem you need help solving, contact our Call 12 for Action Center Monday through Thursday from 11 until 1, hotline 228-1850. Or if you're interested in becoming a Call 12 for Action volunteer with me, call that same number you see right there on your screen. I'm problem solver Susan Hogan, Eyewitness News.